Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Sunday. Yep, got the date right. Or the day. And the date is May 7th, 2023. It's 6.45 a.m. here in an overcast day in Salem, Oregon. I am continuing to do this diamond painting with some friends of mine. It's a diamond art club. It's the Wolf Dream Catcher, 16.5 inches by 23.6 inches. And here is a thumbnail of it. It's by Savina Meister. And it's a round drill. Thirty two colors with one special shape drill and uh, two ABs. And AB is Aurora Borealis. And it's an AB diamond that are a type of diamond with a unique rainbow-like effect. They reflect light in a way that creates an iridescent multicolor sparkle on the canvas. Now, let me tell you, I have finished the top portion. And let me see if I can get the camera a little bit closer to the top. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at those sparkles. Yeah. So what I am going to do now, this is the first time that I have worked top down. And because the canvas is so big, it wasn't able to fit on my artist board. So I tucked it in underneath my artist board. So now we are going to move it so that it is going to lay over the top of my board up here so I need to get the clips off you know what I should have moved a few more things and we'll move the light over a little bit okay So I'm going to pull this out carefully. And I did start, ooh, I just noticed I missed a bunch of things right there. Wow. How stupid. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to pull all of this out. Yeah, because I got to put those diamonds in up there that I missed. See, I've already done this section here because I started on the bottom. All right, so let's take a gander at where I missed. Let me switch my light over here so I can see where I saw those. Where was that? Oh, right there. All right, there are arrows, which is number 22. So let me put those in real quick. I 
think I need to bring that down just a little bit. Okay, we got that done. And let me put the cap back on this so that I don't spill any drills. Okay, we got that business taken care of. So my light pad goes there. So how far up can I put this? I'm going to have to move you in a little bit so I can move my light. You know, probably about right there would be good. All right, now what do I do? <laughs> okay, because I need to clip this. So I can probably, because my light has a clip, Clip that there. I'd have to use my big clip over there. Right, let's see if this works. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Okay, so I clip my light clip on that side, and then I have a big clip right there that I clipped onto the side. All right, bring it back a little bit. And actually, on this, I wanted to roll it a little bit. because it's been underneath the thing and I see that we might have a little bit of repairs to do here and that's okay because this was the first time doing this Had a few there that kind of moved a little bit. Okay. Now, I still got plastic on here. Right, so that's the remainder of the plastic I have. Okay, so I have been working on that top part, I was working here and going up. So let's see what I have to do yet. One thing I like about this canvas is that you do not get the true colors of it until you lay down the drills and then it just pops. It is just wonderful. All right, so I think I'm going to start over here 
and work this way and work downward because I'm going to need to move the canvas a little bit more when I go down there. And I don't, I'm too lazy to move the canvas right now to do that. And I, my light pad goes right here, so I can't go any farther up, if any of that makes sense. So, go ahead and put on our silicone mats to cover all of this up. So, maybe I'll just work across. Yeah, there we go. I'll just work across. So, I'm going to need to section those off a little bit. Because I do small areas. I think I'll go right to here. There. So I'll do this section over here on the left. Now we do have, oh, can I bring this over a little bit more? Sorry, don't mean to make you seasick. All right, we do have that special shape drill there. And I know that um, DP Crazy Lady was having problems with her special shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. And these special shapes are heavy, which is where this neat little pencil glue comes in handy because it picks up Wow! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it it picks these up really nice and lays them down really good. So yeah, that's stuck on there. So she must have had a canvas that was a little bit glueless. Oh yeah, that's great. Okay, now I need to get myself kind of organized. I might be able to put this clip. No. Oh shoot. I should have moved my canvas over just a well. No, I'll just do right. This is perfect. Sorry, I'm chatting to myself. So now I need to get myself kind of organized. Okay, so I don't need these little white clips, so this Put them somewhere. I don't know where I want to put them. I'll just set them over here. Okay, and this clip I don't need. Yeah, so how's everybody doing today on this Sunday? So, we're having so much fun with this. I'm sorry. With this painting, oh, by the way, my little roller. This is a little roller. And then I have my big roller. Yeah. Um, so we're having so much fun with this that Becky Sloan and I both have 
a painting that we're going to be starting after this one that is um, a um, Chuck Penson and it is called hold on a second I gotta find my box Okay, it is going to be the Golden Valley. And we picked ours up at Hobby Lobby on clearance. The regular price on this, I think, is $70. And we got them for $17.49. It's a huge painting. 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters yeah so we practiced on well i practiced on doing a bigger diamond diamond painting with this paint along and the next one is square drills huge canvas so that's the next step for me um with Diamond Art Clubs because I usually only do the um, budget friendly canvases so this is yeah new to me um, yeah and I've been doing budget canvases for five years now but anyway um, the ladies that have been joining me in this fun little project Crafty Chef Diamond, and I'll put the links down below once this is uploaded. Uh, she's um, going to be gone for a week, I think. So um, she's going to be away from her diamond painting. But do check out her video. She's um, been showing updates of what she's done. And I think, if I remember right... She actually has completed this whole top part, and then I think down to here. And she's leaving the um, dream catcher as the last thing to do. And I might join her in. The, in fact, I will join her in that. I will not do the dream catcher until the last item to do on the um, on the uh, canvas okay and DP crazy lady she's finished hers so go check out her completed um, video and she's moved on to a new painting now crafting with V also she started hers while she was camping can you believe that <laughs> So she, uh, check her channel out for her updates and all her crafting wonderfulness that she has. She's, she's great. And then, um, also joining us on this is, um, Becky. Sloan, sorry, I was reading, uh, Becky Sloan, she is, does not have this painting, but she picked out one similar, and it's square drills, which she has not done before, so that was a good practice uh, for her with square drills before we tackle this huge painting, and if you haven't checked out Becky Sloan, check out her videos and, you know, be sure and subscribe to all these ladies. We've had so much fun with this. We've gotten to know each other and I feel like we're besties. I just really, really enjoyed all of, of, of this experience. The first time I've ever done something like this before. And I just so look forward to, um, our next project together. So fun. Just 
everybody working at their own pace and there's no prizes we don't have a set end date um you know nothing it's just friends getting together and diamond painting together i just thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed all of this experience so i uh, yeah so i'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to this great big huge canvas and I believe um, Crafty Chef Diamond now she does not have our next painting and but she does have quite a few Chuck Penson canvases so she's going to be joining us she's going to see if she can find one that is similar to this but you know maybe in the meantime she'll find a chuck pinson marked down or 40 percent off at hobby lobby you never know and i'm really hoping that she does find one on sale but if she doesn't and she does a different chuck pinson crafty chef diamond you're not allowed to do any that I already have because I want to do another diamond painting with you. I have so loved your journey on this with me. I just, it's been great. So yeah, I am looking forward to that. And also we have another diamond painting that we're all going to be doing together, which is the Diamond Art Club Black and White, The Horse. Um, those have been marked down to ten dollars at Hobby Lobby I don't know if they still have that sale or not and if they're $29.99 but even if they're not marked down and you go to Hobby Lobby during their 40% off sale you know you can still get it for you know what $17-18 dollars so uh, we will be doing that down the road a ways because it's gonna take a long time to do that huge painting <laughs> So we just got so many things to look forward to. I'm, at least I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. So hopefully we can get some more people in on joining us and we get to know you. And yeah, it's just, it's just been really wonderful. And because we are a small group of people, it's a little bit more intimate, you know, you get to know people. Um, so anyway update on Ellie <coughs> excuse me she was not doing well yesterday morning she did throw up a couple times she was sleeping a lot she was just not herself at all and I called the vet yesterday afternoon and they said well you know she shouldn't be having a reaction to the ear medicine. And, you know, there might be something else going on. And so they wanted me to bring her in today at 930. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you know that last week was not a normal week for me. It was very chaotic. A lot of things going on, which we usually it's low key here. Well, yesterday, um, I took my granddaughters home. They had been here since Thursday. And I got things done in my little home here that needed to be done. Things were arranged. If you watched another video, you know that I got a recliner. I think I mentioned that. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, just a lot going on here. And with the leak with the hot water tank and having to deal with that. Well, I Ellie's fine today. Yeah, she's been wanting to play... Um, pull 
pulled away with me and she's been out running around and she ate all of her breakfast. She wolfed it down. She must have been starving because she wasn't eating. And she wolfed it down this morning and she didn't throw it up and she's just been herself. So I think it was just a mixture of a chaotic week. And she's a scaredy dog as it is. She she doesn't like change. She likes quietness. She um, she doesn't like sharing my time with others. And so one of my granddaughters slept with me, the other one on the couch, which Ellie always cuddles with me at night in bed. And um, she likes laying on the couch. That was taken away from her. And... You know, just, I think she was just overwhelmed. But she's doing better today. She's fine. So I don't think I need to take her to the vet. Um, yeah, she's doing just so much better. So I'm, we got some cuddle time. And my new recliner is big enough where she can get into the recliner with me and cuddle with me. Now she's 85 pounds, so she's not a little tiny dog. <laughs> so, and I'm not a little tiny lady. <laughs> but we both fit in the recliner, and it is leather. And so I laid a blanket down so, um, for her so that she doesn't tear the, the um, recliner with her claws. <laughs> Although, you know, big dogs have big claws. Uh, she does get her nails done, so. Uh, but still, you know, she's got to have those nails. And you don't declaw a, a dog or a cat. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, those are the updates to what's going on here. I'm trying to get caught up on some videos and I know there's been tons of comments, and I really appreciate your comments, but it has just been so crazy here that I at least heart your comments. You know I've read them, even though I'm rushing through um, and reading things. Um, so now I'm hoping things calm down a little bit. I just have a couple things to do today, but yesterday when everybody left and... Ellie just needed some cuddle time with me. And so we sat and watched the rerun of all the coronation stuff with the king and queen. And that was about three hours. So we sat in the recliner together and watched it and uh, cuddled. And she was a little apprehensive at first to get into the recliner because it was something new and so it took her a few tries but she found her sweet spot in there and now it's like she just jumps up there with me <laughs> so yeah she's doing good so I am about ready to take her out again and let her run around it looks like it's going to rain today so we're going to be stuck inside I'm going to do some more diamond painting, hopefully get this section done at least today. So yeah, I'm getting, I did, well, I'm getting near the end, so <laughs> I forgot I had done this much down here, so, which is fine. We're not going to start the next project until everybody has completed this so we want to wait for uh, Crafty Chef Diamond to get back. She's a fast diamond painter so I'm sure once she gets back she'll rip through this really fast. So that's all I have. My 30 minutes is up. Have a wonderful day. I might be back later and do a whip and chatter. We'll see how the day goes. So thanks for stopping by. 
Happy diamond painting!